Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a lip swatch video. My lips are so, so, so dry. I've scrubbed them and they're like probably on the verge of bleeding at this point and they're still dry. Um, my skin and everything is just so chapped right now. But I want to do this video anyway and we are doing lip swatches on the Ellie Color Matte Liquid Lip Color. Um, I have five of them but there are more shades. Sorry. Um, on the website, I'm trying to see how many shades there are. It looks like there's 18 shades total. Um, there's a lot of neutrals and a lot of, um, kind of like purpley plum colors. Um, there's not really a lot of reds. I think I probably have the reddest red they have. I wish they had like a really fiery red. Now, which one do I have? No, I have a darker red. There is a lighter red than the one I have that may be a little bit more, but it looks, still looks like it's probably got a lot of pink in it. But anyway, these are $3 a piece. I feel like I only paid two in store, but online they are $3. And the, descri the description says, Smooth, easy to apply liquid formula, dries to a super matte finish. Long wearing formula is perfect for all day wear with minimal touch up. And it does have a 5 star rating, but there's only been 10 reviews, but still for 10 out of 10 people to give it a 5 star review, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything other than just swatching. I am going to swatch all of the colors that I have. Like I said, I only have 5, but I'm going to swatch them all and then I'm going to pick which one I like and do um, a wear test for the day. So I'm going to start with the lightest and this is the shade Sultry and I swatched this the other day. I did wear this one the other day but I didn't pay attention. I didn't even look at myself in the mirror the rest of the day I don't think um, and I ended up wiping it off before like I had a chance to really look at it because I didn't want to uh, have an opinion already. So yeah anyway they just have kind of like a paddle like brush. Uh, it's like a doe foot it's not a brush. And this is the swatch. And now I shall apply. I'm not going to use any lip liner because I want to just see how the uh, lipstick itself performs on its own. Uh, but obviously anytime you're using anything like this, it's better with a lip liner. So keep that in mind. Uh, it has a little bit of a sweet smell. And almost like a sunscreen, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's the first color. You saw this on me in my last video. Um, it is kind of a thin, it's like a moussey formula, but it's like not a very opaque formula. You have to kind of build it up to really get like your lip color covered, especially with this one where it is so light. Um, but yeah, I can kind of see my lips poking through this one, but my lips are really red right now where um, I scrubbed them but there is some color poking through uh, which doesn't completely bother me but it's not a very uh, like extremely opaque formula from what I can tell um but yeah like I said a lot of that may be where I um, scrubbed my lips now I wore this the other day and locked it what time I like, was paying attention um, and you can build them on top of each other. They don't get real goopy or anything like that. But like I said, they're really thin and lightweight. And yeah, so there's the first one. Okay, so the next shade I have is Suede. And it's another nude, but it is a, a smidge darker. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit more cool toned. But I have a feeling like if you want one of the nudes, uh, you won't need both. I don't know. Why did I wipe the old swatch off? That was stupid. I need to just leave them all on there. Okay, so here is swatches. Uh, this top one is um, sultry, and then this is suede. It's definitely um, more of a purple toned. I don't know how well you can tell, and it's definitely darker. So, let me try this one. Okay, so this one definitely looks darker on. I feel like that I thought it was going to. I mean, it really, I guess it's just why I'm so pale. But anyway, um, 
This is not my favorite color. It's kind of that gray, purpley kind of nude, which is not my favorite on me. Um, it did go on easy. It's pretty opaque. And the applicator is actually very easy to work with. And the formula itself is very easy to work with. Um, but yeah, this one's not my favorite. I'll probably pass this one on to a friend. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off before it dries because my lips are so, so sore already. It's already dried down. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like already not wanting to wipe off. And I haven't ha even had it on for a full minute. So they dry down super quick. Okay, so the next one I have is Illusion. And this is kind of like a rust brown, if that makes sense. Like it's not really a red, but it's not a brown. It's kind of somewhere in between. Um, so yeah. I kind of like this color though, especially for like winter. Okay, so I definitely love this color. This is definitely one of my colors that I really like. It's a brown, but there's enough red in it to where it doesn't look like full-on chocolate brown, if that makes sense. There's definitely a lot of a warm red tone in it, which I really like. Um, and I haven't had to dip into any of these. You kind of have to work with it to like build up a little bit in other places, but I've only had to like once I take it out of the tube, I don't have to go back in. There's a lot of product on the doe foot applicator itself. But I really, really like this one. I'm going to wear this one. Oh, I can't believe I haven't wore this yet. This is going to be great for winter time. Because this is a very dark, kind of a vampy look without being too dark. And it's not too brown. But it's not like full on red either. So I really, really like this one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I did a horrible job of application. But that's okay. And this is an arm swatch of that last one, so you can definitely see the red tones in it a lot when you swatch it. Okay, so this next one is Fierce, and I debated about maybe wearing this one for the rest of the day, but I think I'm going to go with the last one I have. Um, and this is just kind of like a dark, not really dark, but kind of like a, a dusty fuchsia, if that makes sense. Like you have your dusty rose, but this is a little bit more purple and a little bit more deep. So it's kind of like a muted down purpley fuchsia color. And I'll give you a swatch. So there's that. Definitely a very pretty color. This one is definitely pretty. It's very opaque. But it's not my kind of color. Uh, like I've said before, I'm not big into purples. Like I kind of have a cool toned eye look today. A little bit more than usual because I just wanted to do something different. You all have seen me in orange eyeshadow so much you're probably sick of it. Um, but my friend Autumn would really like this because she um, loves purple. And she looks really good in purple tones as well. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to give her this one because it's more of her style. It is really a very pretty color though. It's just not not one that I would reach for enough to uh, justify keeping. But like I said, again, very pretty. And it went on very opaque and smooth. So yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we are on the last one, thank God, because my lips are just about to fall off. These are a pain to get off, which is a good thing. Like, that's not a bad thing, but when you're doing lip swatch videos, it's rough. Um, okay, so this is the reddest one I have, and this one's called Danger. And it looked like online they had a, a red that was lighter than this one, so I don't know how red it is. It kind of looked like it was more maybe leaning on the pink side, but it's just like those little square color indicators online so you can't really tell much about that but this is like I said probably the reddest one that I have which taking it out it kind of looks like it has more purple in it maybe okay no so here's this and this is the fierce that we tried I think it's what that one was called no illusion illusion uh, was the one I had earlier and you can see it's a little bit more brown where this one is more red but they're both very pretty so I'm going to wear this one for the day. Okay, so I really like this color, but I did have more trouble with the application on this one. It was a little bit more patchy. And uh, I don't know if it's just where it's so dark or what, but I definitely had more trouble getting this one to look right. The color itself is very, very pretty. I like it. I'm going to leave it on. Um, it's just a very dark vampy red, and it's actually uh, got more of a purple tone than I thought it did. But it's, I mean, it's still red, but it has more of a purple tone where this one um, in uh, Illusion is definitely more warm. 
So this definitely does have more purple in it where this has more like that rusty, like I said, brown color. I actually think I like Illusion better, but I'm going to leave this one on because I'm not going through that again. And I do like this one enough. Um, but it was just a little bit more patchy and harder to really get an even application. I did have to dip into the bottle and take my time, uh, but I did have to go in a second time. Um, I'm going to let this dry down and then I will do a... Um, a transfer proof test it'll take this one a little bit because I do have like two layers on but yeah I'm gonna let this dry down and then we'll test it okay, so I ended up going back in with fierce because not fierce but illusion um, because this one I just didn't feel like it was fair to use this one as for a wear test because it was just patchy from the start and I like this color better anyway they're very similar but this one's just better so if you're looking at these and you're like um they look a lot like which one to get uh, go with Illusion over um, Danger because it's just formula wise and everything just a lot better. Um, the formula on Fierce was awesome. Um, but like I said, it's just not a color that I would wear enough to worry about. So I am going to pass that one along. Uh, the formula on Suede was also really good. But this is also a color that I'm just not fond of. Like I don't need both of these. And I'm just not going to wear this really cool tone grayish nude. It's just not my uh, not my type of lipstick. Uh, now, Sultry, it is so light. And it is a little bit harder to get like your lip color covered if you have very pigmented lips. Which I do. And I had scrubbed them. So, they was really, really red the other day. I had no trouble with it. Um, it was just where I scrubbed my lips. So, I am going to keep this one for sure. And I'm definitely keeping um, Illusion. And then I'm going to pass Danger, Fierce, and um, uh, Suede to my friend Autumn. She may not want Danger because it uh, is a little bit patchy, but I will let her decide whether or not she wants that. Uh, these two I think she will really like and they will suit her more than they do me. And like I said, I'm only giving these away because of color. It's not formula at all. They're really, really good. But I'm just more of a warm tone where she's more of cool tone so you can kind of see what I like versus what I don't. Um, but the formula overall on all of these are really good. Like I said, Sultry is just a little bit where it's just so light. It ain't really so much the, the pigment as it is. It's just so light that it's hard to get really red lips covered. And I had scrubbed them. So you won't have any issue out of these, I don't think. Um, and like I said, these are great. Just not my color. And Danger, not crazy about the formula. So I'm just going to pass that on. And if she don't want it, she don't have to keep it. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the one I decided to go with. I don't know if it's, let me see. Yeah, it's like completely, um, there's nothing coming off. And I'm not like rubbing, but you know, I'm patting. You're not going to go and smear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. It is 425. Um, I have my friend Autumn coming over, my mother-in-law, my sister, and possibly brother-in-law. And uh, their two kids are coming over. We're going to paint Christmas ornaments. Uh, and have some cookies and probably maybe even get some pizza. So I'm going to be eating, I'm going to be drinking, I'm going to be hanging out. I'm not going to touch up. Um, and I will definitely maybe do a mid check-in and then come back at the end of the day to see how this is going. Keep in mind, this is a $3 liquid lipstick. So if you have to touch it up, it's not a big deal. And I think with this formula, the way it's made, you could probably go over it without having to remove it completely and actually touch it up with it being okay. Um... So yeah, now it is drying. You can, I can tell it's going to be drying on my lips. My lips are so dry anyway. But I have, I've never tried a liquid lipstick that wasn't drying. They dry down on your lips. They're matte. There's no moisture. That's just the way it is. So if you like matte lips, that's fine. Uh, if you don't, then this is not something you're going to want anyway. And like I said, they are a pain to remove. So I'm actually going to have to go wash this off with soap and water because they're just not coming off. Um, but yeah. Uh, tell me what color you liked, um, and I know I keep playing with my hair. I've, I've uh, forgot how good it felt to have like long hair. Like I know it ain't actually my hair. It, it's it's real hair. It's just not my real hair. Uh, but I forgot how good it felt to actually have hair. I'm never cutting my hair again. I liked it at the time. Then I look back at videos. I'm like, what were you thinking? It ages me way too much. I think. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. I will do some check-ins. So I will see you all in a little bit. 
Okay guys, so it has been four hours and you can see that it is pretty much wore off. Um, but I did just eat dinner and it was um, Chinese food and it was really, really greasy. So it did hold up pretty good up until then. But like I said, we're at the four hour mark. And really the only places that it, here let me zoom in just a little. The only places that it's not really wore off is around the edges. And I used a lip liner. So it's kind of clinging to where the lip liner was laid down. Um, I know earlier I said I wasn't going to use one, but I ended up using one anyway. Because I always use a lip liner. and But I didn't fill my entire lip in. So... I'm guessing it would hold better with a lip liner, considering that's the part that's still there. Um, but I'm going to uh, put a layer over top just to see how it touches up. But I'm going to see if you have to like remove all of it or if it touches up fairly easy without having to actually go over, like um, go and remove all the extra. Okay, so it actually layered on top really easily. It doesn't look funky or weird or clunky in any places. It's just thawing teeth. But, um, yeah, it actually touched up really, really easy. So, I think for $3, these are definitely worth it. It did wear, like I said, really well up until um, I ate. So, if you're not eating, I would say you could probably get a good four hours of wear out of it if you're not, like, snacking and eating and all that and then like it touches up super super easy so yeah i actually really like it especially for the three dollar price point i've never had a lipstick a liquid lipstick stay on all day but i'm the kind of i bite my lips and i like touch my lips and stuff a lot and i'm all at home licking my lips um just out of habit so it's really hard for lipsticks to hold up on me for very long um so yeah i think it did fine i'm actually really happy with it and I'm actually probably going to get some more colors. Uh, like I said, I'm giving three to my friend. But I am going to order some more um, that looks more of like what I would wear. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I really like them. I do recommend them. Um, I would give it a five star because it's not the best liquid li lipstick ever. But for $3, it's really, really, really good. Um, I'd probably give it a four, four stars uh, considering the price and the and the um, quality of it. Um, my least favorite thing is the shade range because they didn't have a really fiery red which is my favorite. Um, so yeah they need I would like to see more colors like that uh, but there's just a lot of like neutrals and like berry tones. But anyway so that's what I think. I like it. Tell me what you think below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!